A new silkscreen art exhibition called East West Exchange is now being held by Cindy Shaw until the 26th of November at Montreux Boathouse Art Gallery on Cata Beach, Phuket. The opening cocktail reception was held on the 30th of October. While living in San Diego in America, Cindy Shaw signed up for art classes after she broke a bone in her foot and couldn't work. After trying different arts and crafts, she joined a class in silkscreen painting, which ignited her passion for dyes on fabrics and paper. Cindy studied deconstructed silk screening with well-known fiber artist Kerr Gabrowski and has experimented with the medium ever since and is now teaching those skills here in Phuket. And she told us more. I first got started on um, this deconstructed silk printing uh, seven years ago after many years of silk painting, but then I got too bored of just doing very detailed work and this is very spontaneous work and that's why I like it so much because every time you lift the screen you're surprised as what as what you get and of course I things up with my students too because I teach <laughs> these are mounted papers on uh, wooden blocks and they're um, and then the these are my traditional wall hangings they're cloth and these are my, this is my favorite piece. I, I mount, this is fabric, but I also stitch paper. I also stitch paper on top of the fabric. And I use newsprint on some of the pieces also. She said most of her inspiration now comes from here in Thailand. Mostly from nature. I use a lot of nature in my work and a lot of, a lot of things I see in Thailand. Um, the idea for the pots came from all the beautiful pots in Thailand, so I got a theme going with pots. So that's the inspiration from here. And you'll see a lot of, a lot of my work are plants, are leaves. And they come from, you know, I bring some back from the States and I incorporate them and bamboo over here. Um, orchids. So a lot of the ideas and inspirations come from Thailand. The process doesn't. It, that's why I like it so much because it's a really fast, if you just, just do it, that's my motto. Just do it and not think about it so much. And you don't have to be an artist. You just have to, you have to do, um, it's so much fun because you put a lot of textures under the screen. And like I said, every time you lift the screen, you just don't know what you're going to get. Even after I've been doing it for seven years, you still... You have an idea, I have an idea, but I still don't know what I'm going to get. So it's very exciting. She teaches the art part-time at British International School and to her son, who is at the exhibition. Tristan, Tristan here, he's my, here's my son. He's ta he's, he can do it anytime he wants, and he does it sometimes. He's, he's um, done some beautiful pieces and for presents, too, for our family. So... Tristan told us he quite likes his mum's art, but which one? I kind of like the same one that my mom likes. <laughs> yes. Cindy has also made many beautiful diary books decorating the covers and inside pages, which takes a lot longer to finish. Well, it all started because I, I was screening so many papers and I had so many papers and I thought, what am I going to do with all these papers? So I love books. So I got a book out of, I got a book on how to make, how to um, bookbind myself. So I taught myself how to bookbind and I use the papers and the fabrics and I cover, cover my books and I also incorporate art inside the books as dividers. So this piece has a lot of art inside the book and a lot of other books do have, have art inside the books also. She also showed us some of her newest work. Okay, these are these are my newest work, and these are um, mounted papers on wooden frames, and they're fun. They're they're the most fun pieces I've ever done. They're they're like this is called whimsy. This is called um, break time. Um, but these are these are my fun pieces. Having had many opportunities to travel throughout Asia, 
Cindy and her family have been based in Phuket, Thailand for the past six years. Asian art and culture has inspired and strongly influenced her art. She has the best of both worlds, living in Phuket 10 months of the year and returning home to the US for two, where she has the opportunity to take workshops with some of the best fiber artists, learning new techniques to bring back here to share. The exchange is not only of ideas, but also the inspiration and textures that are incorporated into the art. To share her art techniques and ideas with others, Cindy runs hugely entertaining screen printing workshops using brightly colored dyes and all sorts of objects. Fascinating patterns and colors emerge and everyone from a beginner to more experienced students can create a unique artistic memento worthy to hang on a wall or turn into useful art. Lisa Sol, PR manager of the Boathouse Atoll Hotel, told the assembled viewers of the exhibition how to join Cindy's workshops. For those of you who are inspired to try this at home, we always say don't try this at home, this you can learn with Cindy, she's doing workshops on a regular basis, the still screen workshops, and uh, you can ask her information or you can look on her website. Her website is www.cindyshawsilkscreen.com or check www.boathousephuket.com. Cindy concluded that she can also learn from her students' creation, so there's hope for all you budding artists out there. If you prefer just to admire and acquire some original art in time for Christmas, Christmas or New Year gifts, get along to the Boathouse Hotel in Qatar before the 26th of November. Thanks.